Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you back to another episode of our Total War Three Kingdoms Records Mode Let's Play as Kong. Wrong. There seems to be no rest for the people of the Kingdom of Chi as we continue the wars to the north and the south. Ah, that's not entirely accurate actually. In the central section we have relative peace and prosperity. They hear of the wars at our borders, but they do not have to fear death itself, so at least there is that. I mean, all all the death they have to fear comes from time. Actually, death that uh, I, I, I worry will come to take quite a few people in the near future. I was looking around, uh, as I do between sessions, and uh, again, Kong Rong is getting up there. He is 59 years old. We've got a 57-year-old Zheng Yan. We've got a 56-year-old uh, Jin Xuan. People are getting up there, folks. People are getting up there. Ma Dai is still young. This, this army is relatively young, so that's good. Zheng Jiang, she's actually 40. Uh, we've got a 55-year-old. Oh, this guy might die before he even gets to level 4 at this rate. Jeez. And then Tai Shi Si is 46. Man, I don't know. I'm just a little uh, worried. I've grown so attached to so many people. And I've seen in the comments as well. You guys are like, ah, damn. You get so attached. It's like, yep. Yep, you get attached and then they die. And then you cry for an hour in a corner somewhere in the room. But right now, feeling like happy days. We can think about death in the future later. Um... Again, we're going to be making some big moves today. I do think that we're going to keep uh, this army staying back, at least for now, replenishing uh, to full strength before even thinking about moving forward with them. There are a couple of cities at our borders over here. In fact, Bohai is surrounded by cities, so uh, these trebuchets could come in handy, actually, now that I, now that I think about it. Oh my god, this army might be used more offensively than I initially intended and then down south over here as well we've got uh kong rong ready to move into the city of runan Ooh, that just upgraded it used to be a small city if i recall correctly and then down over here uh like i've said previously having taken the trade port at tangsha lusu's gonna head up north this way and uh fix this little enclave situation and then perhaps take the war to lu bu as well who decided to join in but it's okay he doesn't have that much uh, for us to deal with he will be pretty quickly uh pretty swiftly dealt with i think um, meanwhile, up over here, kind of did a little clockwise loop. Ma Dai is going to move up towards the livestock farm at Dongshan, Dongshan, I believe, is that how that's pronounced? Uh, where there is uh, a garrison that hopefully we'll be able to defeat. Uh, if not, we might try starving them out. And there's also the big army at the iron mine at Tai Yuan. But we're going to be kicking this session off with uh, Zheng Jian. And I, 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 this is one of the reasons I love reading uh, through comments and stuff. And this is why I, I like... Like I, like I said, I read all the comments. Uh, I try to respond to them either in session or in the comments themselves specifically. Uh, but I've got multiple opposing pieces of advice uh, in the comments about what to do with Zheng Jian. Some of them are written as if they're actual counselors. Uh, uh, honestly, thank you guys for being so into this. <laughs> it, makes, uh, it makes it such a joy. Uh, and the, the advice on the one hand is to go chasing after Sima Xiangan and push down. And more advice was to pull down and actually trigger the ambush we saw. Uh, and I like the idea of that. Deng Jiang is like, you know what? These are my mountains. I am back at home after so many, so many years. Um, I'm going to, I, I saw that ambush coming and I'm going to trigger it uh, because because I'll be damned if you, you know, come through and start raiding my territory. I really like the way that was kind of phrased and suggested. And really, if Zheng Jian can pull down over here and eliminate what it, whatever it was we saw, she might be able to push through towards the Iron Mine at Tai Yuan if that was the army that came up north. So uh, I think that's what we're going to do to kick this session off is actually trigger this ambush. Because she is the Bandit Queen. Young and sweet. Only 40. Bandit Queen. Feel the beat from her double axes. Come on. Oh, yes. Yes, the power of song. I mean, to a degree. Let's see what's going on over here. So Guo Yuan, and we've got uh, Pu Bin, and we've got Liu Yun. All right, all right. I was hoping one of them would have you in their name so I could be like, you shall not pass. Uh, but I, I guess I'll be like that anyway. You shall not pass. Deng Yan's army will fall here and now. I can't believe the ambush failed. All right, my only regret is now I have Dancing Queen stuck in my head, and it's going to be playing in my head for the rest of this entire session. What's the deal over here? Very forested lands, unfortunately. Not sure how much they're going to use this to their advantage. But as you can see, uh, line of sight isn't perfect. It's okay, though. It's okay, because we can use the forested lands to our benefit. Uh, let's go ahead and get the trebuchet over here. 
a decent range on these things. Hopefully, we'll get a fair bit of damage done. Oh, I'm so glad the ambush failed. All right, let's uh, get you... Yeah, you know, this is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and get our... Everything else right back a little bit. Sorry, it just helps me organize. There we go. Clean slate. Cleanish slate. Helps me organize a bit more. Uh, let's get you guys lined up over here. Again, no more repeating crossbows to worry about, which is great. Uh, we'll get them boxed up a little bit. Just because that helps with... Uh, rotations and stuff makes it a bit cleaner and let's go ahead and get our spears oh god i keep forgetting that this guy is no longer <laughs> good enough we don't have fiery arrows or anything we don't have turtle formations all right let's go ahead and put you guys over here in that case and let's put you guys over here right get our swords as the front line because at least we can get the uh, the shield wall happening there we go. Oof. Okay. There we go. Pull you up there. Pull you up there. Just trying to get a bit of a shape going on over here so we can save ourselves if they come too close. Okay, that should be good enough. Um, let's make sure you guys are grouped up. Don't fire at will. You guys are okay. We have one more unit of archers that I always forget. There we go. That's looking, that's looking more sizable. Excellent, excellent. So that should be good. We'll creep up a little bit with our front line early on. Uh, let's make sure Guan Xujin. We're going to try and get some charges in with this guy. He's. We've got to find ways to increase his experience faster. And if uh, getting him into more dangerous situations is the way to do that, then so be it. All right. There we go. Make sure you guys are all set right. Cool. Cavalry up over here, creeping through the woods together uh, and hoping to get some charges in. I could split them, actually. We've got... Now, you know, there's an opening over here, and I don't want to expose these guys as they push through. This, uh, this should be a good battle. I like this battlefield. I like this battlefield a lot. Let's begin. Oh, ho, 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 and I can see you. I can see you. <laughs> Alright. Fire away up front over here. Again, regular shots means bouncing shots. We're going to fire away. And let's go ahead and get our spears. Well, our spears are at the ready. Let's pull you back, though. There, let's do that. All right, shots are coming through. Hopefully, we'll do a fair bit of damage here. Uh, yes. Yes, we're doing some damage. <laughs> Enough damage? I don't know. Keep those shots coming. I'm hiding the trees. They change to over here. Yeah, I did a little bit of work on these Black Mountain Marauders. Archers are ready. Let's go ahead and... Pull the front line up a little bit. Because again, we want to make sure we are uh, our archers aren't uh, acting funny, so to, so to say. Go ahead and send you guys up a little bit. Right, we're firing away. These guys are going to be eating the shots. It's okay. They've got their range block chances. Turn both of you around to fire this way, please. Hidden men have been discovered. Ah, damn. Fire over here. Let's go. Come on. There's work to be done still. This cavalry concerns me a little bit. You can see also because we're boxed up, we didn't have to rotate all that much. All right, in they come. Oh god. Not quick enough. Ooh, hello. There we go. Suicide charges. Let's go. How are we feeling over here? Fire over here. Fire over here. Let's go. Move. Get a charge in here. Let's go. Pull up. Are we doing well enough over there? And we come with some charges. Excellent, excellent. Let's pull you up. Let's go. Just get you that way. Go. Right, good stuff. Counter charge in here. Pull you back out. Pull you back out as well. Fire up over here at their champion. Ooh, that's not good. And pull back that way. Get you ready for some rear charges as well, perhaps? How are we doing? Good hit. Go. Pull you through. Go through that way. Pull you out. Let's go. Get you ready for some rear charges. Let's go. One opportunity right there. Firing up over here. How are you feeling? Let's go in there. Let's go. Go up there. Pulling you through this way. Right. Risky rear charge, but... Uh, way too risky charge. 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. All this to try and gain some experience. Let's go ahead and get you firing over here. Our success looms large. Damn right it does. Yeah, damn right it does. Let's try and destroy this army, though. Success isn't good enough. I want obliteration of the enemy. Or even trying to venture to my mountains. Oh my god, that was a terrible charge for this guy. I mean, I, I knew I knew it wasn't going to go well. I didn't think it was going to go that poorly. Right, spears are coming up over there. You're giving chase over here to some archers. Yeah, let's try and wipe them out, please. Okay. Run, run out of ammunition. That's not good. Get this cavalry back over here for some rear charges here. Be back. You cycle charging. Come on. Uh, fire over here. Get a rear charge in here. Very close, unfortunately, but I think that should do the trick. Be back a little bit. Taking a little bit of damage there. Don't like that. Be back. Is Buddy back in the fight? Yeah, he is. Come on. Come on. Gotta get some work done. Go chasing after these guys, if nothing else. Alright, we're good here. Get a charge in here. Oh, these guys are going to pull you out. I'll send you in for rear charge there. Excellent. Spears are arriving. Let's get our swords back. Good charge over here, I hope. Ah, uh, it's okay. Pull you guys back. Artillery should be firing. Oh. What's the deal up here? Chase after Poobin. No, we're chasing up there. And he runs. Craven, of course. Of course they run. Deng Deng, come down here. He would dare enter your mountain ranges. Alright. Looks like this is it, folks. Looks like this is it. There it is, baby. You firing up here. Get a path. Try and kill as many of these guys as possible. Get you chasing down that way. You will hopefully get some kills in up here. Got it. I took a foolish risk with this unit, but it's okay. Most times they stay back anyway, so worst case scenario, these guys are still fine. Some of these spears took a lot of damage, though. We'll just uh, tuck back into the city. We're, in, we're on home turf. So we'll be able to... Uh, to replenish quote unquote easily wondering if you should have come down here instead more to kill <laughs> these guys are basically taken care of you are almost done here all right all right throw in uh throwing Dang Yan's armies into the poo bin as it were what happened over here you got away Turn you around. And you down here. Alright, and then you down over here. Speed it up a little bit. Don't have to watch this in slow motion. Not actually slow motion, but you know what I mean. Alright, in we go. Hopefully wiping those guys out. Hopefully wiping these guys out. Good charge over there. Two left there, so let's turn around and come down over here. Pull you back. Pull you through. Clean up duty. Clean up duty to level up. Try and level up. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Excuse me, G Militia. Uh, I have a present for you. And it's just about arrived. There it is. Hope you like it. Beautiful. 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 <laughs> I was so glad we uh, we hopped into this ambush. <laughs> Quote unquote ambush. These guys are basically obliterated. Nothing here to worry about. Go ahead and claim victory. A decisive victory it was. Thank you very much. Ah, it was beautiful. We lost a lot, though. We did lose a lot, to be fair. We lost over 400, I think. 40... 420? 400... How much did we lose? It doesn't matter. We held our ground. This is our territory. This is our land. All right. Wow. I didn't realize how much we started with. We lost almost a thousand, actually. That's pretty rough. Ooh, character captured Bo Yuan. No friends or rivals. Could you? I am fonder of my head than I am loyal to this faction. Allow me to join you and I will serve you well. Oh, oh, ooh, competitive. Okay. He's populist. He's graceful. But he's disloyal. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that. Plus, this is Zhang Zhang. And if we're role playing. This is a man that tried to enter her land at 
one of her rivals' request. Sorry, man. I picked the wrong battlefield. All right. Um, let's go with the replenishment. I think we need that more than money right now. In fact, I need to look at how to spend my money. That army ran the hell away. Which is great. I could... Looks like it ran the hell away. I could go chasing after it to eliminate it completely. Because I think Yan Men will be fine against... Uh, against this army should it come through. For now at least. Let's, let's push up ahead a little bit. Push up to... Well, I want to see. There it is. Ah, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, well, it's okay. I want to stay in my territory anyway. Replenish a little bit, at least. Especially for these spears. Could get into ambush stance myself. Maybe convince him it's safe to come this way. Two turns, they're hurt. Uh, maybe after we take the livestock farm, we can go up there and finish this army off. I unfortunately cannot remember the name of the armies that went here or here. Oh, wait, that's Jiang Yan. That's the army at Tai Yuan. Oh, I think so at least. I mean, it could be a different army entirely, but wouldn't that be an opportunity? Anyway, before we do dive into uh, the Dongshan livestock farm, I hope you guys are enjoying this kind of uh, new-ish format, so to speak, where we kick off with some action if it's possible, and then we do some administrative stuff. Because uh, let's see, killed in battle, Pubin, yep. Uh, this ambush that has failed, damn right, was discovered. We gained the heirloom spear and the wooden dog, but let me just double check. Did I? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, was it a dream? Yes, no, I gave the stuff away. I still have my wooden dog, though. It does increase satisfaction. Now, you know what I don't know is, where can I tell how far we are? Oh, there we go. God damn. <laughs> a long way to go before uh, level four. How are you feeling for... Oh, okay, we're getting up there. Okay. Um, so this is all taken care of. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some admin stuff. We're not making that much money right now, but that can be changed by building some things that'll allow us to make more money. Uh, more income from commerce and industry. Probably not a terrible idea up in here. It goes from 75 to 100. Okay. Um, what about... Uh, Yi might be a good opportunity to get some upgrades going for relatively cheap... Uh, we're at plus 300, we can add another 100, or we can reduce corruption. Reducing corruption by 10%, how much of a difference would that make? God. Not looking to do a lot of math right now, we'd make another 10% of 3.2k, which is 320, right? That's how that math should work, so this is actually a worthwhile change then. We lose 100 of the income, so it would actually be 3.1k. 310, though. We go up this path instead. So we'd be losing out on 200, but yeah, I think it's a net gain. And this is also reducing corruption in adjacent territories, uh, adjacent commanderies, sorry. So let's go ahead and convert. I want to try that. Hopefully this isn't a bad call overall. Just take one turn, or I could rush it. Hold well, on, see. Cancel that. We're at 1807, right? 1807. If I convert and I rush it, 1941. Okay, cool. Totally worth it. And we can actually upgrade you as well. Over six turns to make me reduce corruption in the neighboring commanderies, which would be what? A lot of these places are tax exempt. We have to consider that for now. We don't have that many adjacent commanderies, and I don't know if the river counts as adjacent. Something to think about. Something to think about. Um, but I'm happy with that conversion. Down over here, meanwhile, let's take a look at Changsha. We are upgrading you, so we can't do anything else up here. Ling Ling, how are you feeling? You know what? This toolmaker, I think, finally needs to happen. It's 100 income. We're just not accepting. <laughs> Two turns to get it happening. I could rush it, but I don't think I want to do that for everything here. Down over here, we're able to increase our income as well, I think. Get some food production going, perhaps. Not necessary. Not necessary. What about down over here? Ooh. Hmm. Income from commerce bumped. A little bit of a bigger garrison as well. Sure, let's go ahead and do that. And nothing else, obviously. Uh, up top, let's see if we can't do anything for, let's say, Beihai. We've been waiting for a while over here. 
Well, actually, what? Dong, how far along are you? There we go. Excellent. So let's go ahead and get uh, this done, right, to reduce corruption in the area. Well, so first it's just corruption in... at this location. And then it becomes corruption reduction at this location. And then it becomes corruption reduction either at this location or in adjacent commanderies. So I'm glad I checked here. Let's go ahead and get... Yeah, let's go with you. We can rush this, though. 3,000. That's like all of our money. I can just wait two turns. I can be patient. Aishan, how are you doing? You're doing okay? Um, I mean, that's basically all of our money used up. Unfortunately. Bohai. Yeah, you're kind of in a risky spot, Bohai. We'll leave you be for now. Uh, what about the copper mine here? This, we need to get this reform done. Because eventually, we want to upgrade to this. Let's go ahead and make sure that we eye that reform next. I thought... I thought we got it, or did I change my... Ah, there it is. What did I do instead last time? I thought I was eyeing that for a while, and now I can't remember. Oh, you know what? Maybe I... Uh... Oh, I, I, yeah, I got this. Disaster relief system for the extra replenishment. It was pointed out that uh, down the line... Where was it? Uh, down the line where? It was a huge bump to... Root... Uh mustering turns and stuff or a huge reduction i should say i mean yeah there's lots of there's lots of options that i wouldn't mind taking like available assignments is also good available another available administrator is also good um but i do need retainer armies for that however however i think we need shaft mining we need to get our corruption reduced asap asap well, so let's go ahead and actually save some money this is going to cost us a lot so let's save the rest of our wealth uh get into another battle and then see what we do with that uh with that money what battle shall we do, though? Let's do this one. Ma Dai has been waiting for a while. This is going to be a hefty battle as well, I think. Um, so let's dive on in. Let's dive on in. Um, oh, it's too bad I can't hit this this turn. I'm I'm relatively convinced that this army came from here. I don't know why he would decide to grow up there when there's a massive army right here. But no, into the livestock farm we go. And, uh, oh. No way. They must have fallen back to their capital, or they're trying to pull an offensive ambush or something. I, I, I was so sure there wasn't there was a garrison here, like a like a separate army, not just the uh, the local garrison. All right, you know what? This is something we can take on. I think relatively easily with our cavalry heavy army. Just have to be careful here. Um, but yes, let's let's do it. No surprises waiting for us. The game predicts a Pyrrhic victory with medium casualties. We, of course, cannot allow that. Unfortunately, cannot demand surrender. There are no uh, officers to demand surrender of. So we're going to uh, trample them instead. All right. Oh, I keep forgetting this army has Vanguard deployment across the board. Hell yeah. All right, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Unfortunately, we don't have um, fancy formations, but that's okay. I do hope they deploy in this area. Because then I can kind of rush up over here. We've got this as an obstruction, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and do... That. Alright, there we go. These axes are a little bit hurt, but that's okay. We've got some spears that we can post up. Uh, let's pull you back. Okay, hold on. There. That's how I want to play it. Pull you guys out this way, perhaps. And pull you guys out this way. And we've got uh, a pair in reserve. But I'm hoping the fighting will mostly happen over here as our cavalry gets uh, hyper-aggressive. And by our cavalry, I mean all of our units. We can push up this way, or I can spread the deployment a little bit. I could make a gap over here and allow some cavalry to pass through. I'm really hedging my bets on them being over here, so let's hope let's hope that's exactly what happens. All right, let's get you guys grouped up, and uh, let's get started. I mean, they have a lot of archers, so we have to move swiftly. We have to move swiftly. We'll get into loose formation as we get close. Let's go. Oh, what? That did not work out. Uh, run into formation. Alright. Interesting spears over there. We've got some G infantry captains, spear warriors, etc. Archers are coming through. March out this way. 
these guys need to, they have a lot of ground to cover. Pretty cool to see the army uh, pivot like this, though. Spear is a little slowed down, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, well, this cavalry contingent can probably come up that way. Go ahead and take it slow. Breaking our cohesion here a little bit. Warm up. All right. Those archers, they do worry me. It's a lot of archers. Hardly treachery, come on. Stop overreacting. Okay, let's get you forming up over here. Just march, just march. Loose up. Move over there. Tempted to actually rush out. Okay, move out a little bit further. Again, if we can get them to widen or rotate a little bit, that'd be great. Unfortunately, again, we do have decent block chances, but uh, we don't have the formations that would really help us out. Speed time up a little bit. My patience wears thin already. We don't have all day, obviously. There is a time limit to this battle. Oh, there we go. A little bit of movement. Let's move up. This is obstruction over here as well. Make sure that we're getting into position. Be back. In their range. Go. Go. Slow you down. Just trying to get uh, TNT to catch up. There's a huge gap over here that's obviously some form of spears or something. Alright, we're moving up. Move you a little bit faster. Let's go. Let's go. Trying to stay out of their ranges. <laughs> Watch them bend. Pretty soon we'll watch them break. So tempting to go diving in right now, but they've got trees. They've got spears. Move up. Oh, hello. Let's rush. Out of token prod, I think. Go, let's go. Go this way. Taking a bit of a risk here. Here we go. You up. Alright. Good ish charge, I hope. Not so much. Put you down this way. Let's get you out of there. Get you up there. If we can get rid of their spears nice and early, that'll be very helpful for us. Good charges, I hope. They're not braced or anything. Excellent. These guys are pulling back. Pull away. Pull you back. No more loose formations. Let's go. Nice. Pull down there. The rest of our army to move up. Swiftly. Ooh, that wasn't good. Good charge there, I think. Pull you down. Pull you out. Let's go. Get out of there. Down here. That should be a good charge over there, I think. In we go. Oof. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Put you back in. Get you back out. Go. Right up. Get you out of there. Push you through. Go. Put you back. Put you through. No more loose formation. Actually, let's go here. Put you back out. All right, feeling pretty good. Down over here, some good charges, I hope. Yes, feels like it. Decent charges, not the best. All right, good charge over here. Pull you back. Pull you guys back. Let's get you in here. Hopefully. Can't see if they're still or not, so that's a little problematic. Time to go. In we go. Yes, good charge over there, looks like. Ooh, risky charges. Go back right away. Pull you back. Go and get a charge in here. Bring you around. Get you up over here. Alright, good stuff. Bring you around. These guys are very loosely put together. Hopefully we'll get some good charges there. Get a charge in there. Get you in here as well. 
get you to rear charge them. Uh, you know, actually, let's get some more, more distance on it first. All right, we've got swords over here destroying their G militia. We can get a rear charge on these spear warriors over here. Pull you away. All right, good stuff. In we go. Yes, excellent. Get you down in here. Pull you back out. Get you up over here. Get you back over here. Excellent. What a cavalry commander uh, Ma Dai is. In we go. Beautiful rear charge, I think. Yes, I do believe it is. Let's get you back out of there. Those spears are arriving. Good charge over here. Let's pull you back. Let's pull you back. Let's go. All right. All right. Looking like it, folks. Looking like it. There it is. All right. Took some damage there, if I'm completely honest with myself. But a decisive victory it was. Decisive goddamn victory. Yeah, we took a lot of damage, but that's kind of what you get with a slightly riskier play. There was a lot of spears there. But we found that gap. We Again, we stretched them. We bent them. We broke them. We found those gaps. We dove in. We tore them apart. Destroyed everything. Destroyed everything. That was not bad, actually. Just around 10% lost. Uh, let's go ahead and occupy. No need to loot or anything. Just occupy. All right. This livestock farm is ours. Garrison somewhat exists. Um, and we can sit tight and replenish. And then maybe we make our moves towards the lumber yard as well. This is feeling good. We did make some more money. So perhaps we spend some more money as well. I mean, now we have enough money to make this. But two turns, I believe, before... Two turns. I'm wondering what we want to do. Something that helps our income seems like the wise option. Food and income. I mean, that's also not a bad call. A decent bump, 40. Also, perhaps taxing these. You know what? Let's take a quick look at places that are tax exempt. And let's tax them. For example, Hedong. You can be taxed. All right. Um, who else? Yang Ling. We're going to go ahead and tax you. Why is public order so low? Faction support. That'll change soon enough. That'll change soon enough. Um, go ahead and see. Oh, Yang. Go ahead and tax you. They're a little bit lower on the uh, public order scale. Hostile forces. Oh, this nonsense? Come on, that scares you? That's a whole negative eight. That's crazy. Population is a problem too. Oh, it's because we're building this. I mean, I could rush this. Feels like a waste of money. Oh, let's give you tax exemption for now. Wait at least until this army leaves. And then we'll start taxing you. At least we know that there's money to be made. Chindu. Go ahead and tax you. Excellent. Negative two for population. Alright, let's go ahead and get that going. Uh, you guys are all being taxed. Yep, yep, yep. Tongan, I mean, Tongan is nothing. I could build this and start taxing these guys. Might as well do it. Otherwise, it's literally sitting there doing nothing. Not even looking pretty. All right, I think that's good use for our money so far. Uh, again, just bouncing between battle and admin. Character ranks gained. Tian Ti. Oh, good job, buddy. All right. I want to, like, reward him with something fancy. You have one... Militia units. So let's go ahead and swap this to the wooden dog. Adds to his resolve and satisfaction. I think a better use of that slot for him. I need better uh, formations. Ooh, you don't have a follower. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, um, distracting myself. You leveled up. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. Mobility consideration is nice. Encourage is nice. Uh, champion. And add to his resolve. Either way, we'll add to the resolve. You know what? I like... I mean, this is a cavalry... heavy kind of moves that these guys make. Let's go with the uh, champion instead. Make it a bigger unit first. And then we can look at uh, consideration. That was a big bump. That was a big bump. Yeah, that was fine. I'm happy with that. We already have guerrilla deployment across the board. I was just like, oh, no, I could have had guerrilla deployment. Okay, you guys are waiting and, and replenishing down over here, though. Uh, here. Ong Rong. This was the tough call. 
This is the one where I don't know exactly how I want to move. Because Lubu is up here marching through my lands. He can go a long way. We'd have to defend the Jade Mine. But I do believe the Jade Mine can be defended. No ranged capabilities. Except for our towers, obviously. We do have a level 4 strategist here. I could intercept that. I could deal with this and then run back. They do have reinforcements here. They're fairly sizable. We've got... Uh, it's a city. Full-on city. Not that great a garrison. They do have this army in there as well. But we've got... Trebuchet, we've got archers, cavalry, spears. No swords in this army. Maybe something I should consider fixing. You know what? We're going to dive in. We're going to dive in. We're going to run and take this city right away. I know that's not how it's pronounced. <laughs> but I can't resist the pun, even if it's a bad one. All right, decisive defeat, says the game. But that's if their reinforcements come here. Uh, it's going to be a night battle. Despite our superior forces, it'll be a close defeat. Interesting. They do not have Bastion Artillery. They've got some barricades. Okay, I was actually worried that they'd have Bastion Artillery, but without that, I'm feeling a lot better. Feeling a lot better. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, dive on. And this is a very battlefield episode, folks. I hope you guys are enjoying it. In fact, I don't think I mentioned this, but if you have been enjoying this series and you'd like to see it continue, make sure you let me know by dropping likes and comments down below. It does really make a huge difference in how I approach content on the channel. So, uh, yeah, if you're enjoying, just make sure you let me know. It really helps me just make decisions for the channel. But uh, with all that said, I'm about to make a big decision right here. And uh, we're hopefully going to take the seat of power of the Kingdom of Shuhan. All right, let's see what we can do here. Got to find a... That was an interesting layout. Very nicely paved city. Got to find a good way in. All the way back there is the victory point. Um... We've got barricades over here. They have barricades on this side as well. Oh, huh, that's pretty cool. See the little housing over here. They do not have barricades. Oh, they do. They've got barricades over there. Okay. These towers don't reach all the way back here. It seems like a bit of a design flaw. Whoever the city planner was should be executed, in my opinion. This is uh, really bad. Um, okay. So we've got these towers... This tower, oh wow, that's some good reach on that. Good use of these rocks as well to block our approach. Very interesting. I'm wondering which way I want to come in. I can come in this way as well. We've got this tower, this tower. That fort tower won't be a problem for me. Okay, so we'd have to destroy one, two, three. Then we'd have to go up this way, through this way, up this way. Which isn't that much of a challenge. Because other than that, we'd have to destroy this We'd have to destroy this, 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 and this. You know what? We have to destroy this one anyway. We have to destroy this one anyway, because it's firing into the city over here. So that's probably why there aren't more towers. Fair enough. So one, two, three, four. And we don't have to worry about those towers. That sounds like a plan to me. Is there a better opportunity on the flip side over here, perhaps? Just got to check. Posterity's sake, great. Because here we can go up this way as well. We got this. One, two, three. Four. We'd have to destroy four as well. But it's a more direct path, I suppose. Barricade's a bit closer. Less room to maneuver early on. Less of a straight path, I suppose. Now, lots of narrow barricaded areas there. I don't like that. We'll, we'll stick with this side, I think. Stick with this side. All right. Get y'all laid out over here. We have our cavalry that can actually tuck in the trees and stay hidden. Excellent. I like that. I like that. Getting adventurous. Um, let's go ahead and get archers over here. If we're feeling really adventurous, we can move up and start setting fire to some of these things. <laughs> Am I feeling that adventurous, though? I don't think so. I don't think so. Go ahead and form me up like so. Alright, because these guys will move up this way after the cavalry manages to pour through and get some work done. Our trebuchet will, of course, be back over here. Again, we have flaming shots, so we can use that to our advantage. I think we will, because, again, we can get work done in fewer shots. So we'll work on one, two, three, four. You are not facing this way, correct? Correct, okay. Let's go ahead and get you up over here. 
Sure. This is more about closing distance, not about um, not about being hidden. All right, so we fire away. We got some work done. You guys are grouped up. Let's make sure you're set up right. Let's make sure you guys are set up right as well. There we go. And uh, let's begin. Let's begin. I hope I've got this right. I hope I haven't missed out a good opportunity. All right. Fire away. Let's. Oh, wait, hold on. First of all. Almost messed this up. Got to take out the wall section first. Let's get you firing up there. Let's get you firing over here. You guys are pretty badly hurt already, actually. All right, as we fire away and hope to take these... Oh! <laughs> I love capturing that kind of stuff. Oh, more of them. Uh, I just wanted to address uh, something that I saw in the comments um, regarding my treacherous status. It, it, it's something that bothers me a lot as well. The joining a vassal uh, and, and helping a vassal and sacrificing so much of my own, you know, uh, standing to help them has only given me a plus five to my, um, like, what's what's it called? Trustworthiness modifier, I suppose. I don't think that's good enough. I think it's a bit of an oversight as well that helping my vassal would hurt me like that. Um, so, yes, I, I, I concur. We're almost done over there as well. There we go. The central section, unfortunately, stands. Let's get a couple shots in there. You flaming shots up over here. Let's get rid of the arrow towers. Can we stop? Seriously? Ah, oh, we did not get a good enough hit in. This is good. We're either hitting the walls or hitting these clumps. I like that. Now give me some good shots. I just need it to be at 50%. How is that not good enough? All right, this wall is almost taken care of. Good. Wow, only at 11%. What's going on here? Also a little annoyed at this wall not going down too easily. This isn't good. I should be using regular shots. All right, huge wall section opens up. I'm almost tempted to just rush through with our cavalry. All right, you regular shots, fire over here. You regular shots. Try and take that arrow tower down. See if that gives us more luck. Come on. And this one needs to go down as well, for sure. Because while we're taking those barricades down, we have... We'll be under its fire. Alright, come on. Give me some good shots here. Not the highest ranking artillery units here. Not good. Okay, more damage done over there. Starting to run low on ammunition. We're not out of it, but we're low on it. In worst case scenario, we can use our regular archers. They'll suffer a lot of damage. Okay, 53% damage over here. Yeah, that worked a lot faster. Regular shots it is for these extremely inaccurate individuals. Okay, fire up there. How are you doing over here? 80%. All right, almost done. Not going to try and be cheeky with the ammunition here. There we go. Excellent. So now turn around and focus over here instead. Used up all of our ammunition just taking out these towers. Here we go. Come on. Fire away. Good hits. Very good hits. Alright. Very good hits. Done pretty good. These protectors of heaven are good against armored and good against mounted. So just gotta be wary of that. Power falls. Excellent. Okay. So now... You can fire where... Like, do I get rid of their archers, or do I get rid of... The gates are destroyed as well. Alright, let's go ahead and use fire. Here. Come on, need to take this arrow tower down as well. There we go. Fire over here. You, fire over here. Flaming shots. Nice big clumps for us. And then we can move the rest of our army up. Go. 
range block chances are pretty high, so I don't want to waste arrow fire on them. But <laughs> their shields won't be blocking rocks. Alright, you know what? We're running low on ammunition. Try some bouncing shots over here. Because the fire is uh, has not been working out for me. Okay, move the spears up. Move the archers up as well. Because we want to fire on these guys and scare them off as quickly as possible so our cavalry can rush through. Artillery is almost out of ammunition. Alright, got some hits in there. They're regrouping. Ooh, is this the opportunity? They're too close. Too close. Let our archers move forward. Fire over here. Come on, you've got range. You've definitely got range. Fire. There we go. Gunners of the Earth running away. Actors of Heaven fire at you. Ooh, good range on you guys. Pull up this way. I think our cavalry is ready to come through. Oh. Go, let's go, let's go. Fire down here. Where did that cavalry captain? We might need to loosen up this formation a little bit. Taking a lot of damage right now. Found the bend. Take a bit of a risk over here. Need to dive through. Need to try to dive through at least. I think they managed to brace just in time. Pull back. Pushing down this way. Fire, fire, fire back where? Fire back over here. Yeah, we took a lot of damage on those charges. Not too pleased by that. Opening here. Try and get in here. Pull you back. Let's go. Down over here. Can we get a clean charge? Indeed, we can, kind of. Pull you back. Loosen up. Fall back. A little bit of fire. Oh, there we go. Push. Push. Got all you guys firing back over here. Regular shots. Go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. These guys are going to start taking some damage as well. These guys are breaking-ish. I don't know if breaking-ish is good enough. Pull you back. Still firing away. Pull back, pull back, pull back. I need a fair bit of work done over here, actually. A lot of work. These guys might get scared off. No more spears at the back over here. Oh my god. Those crossbows firing so freely. There we go. Alright, let's go. Turn around. Push, let's push, let's push. Move you through. Let's go. How are we feeling over here? Pushing through the Saber Militia next. We're able to fire back there. The crossbows are auto. Yep. There we go. We've taken a lot of damage on this cavalry. That was a foolish charge at the opening. I was too eager. In we go. Keep this pressure on. Fire back over here. Oh, yeah. In we go. Firing up over there as well. Yep. We're routing now. Excellent. This is almost over. We did take a lot of damage on the cavalry, though. Alright, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Move our spears into the town. I guess we can fire up over there. Sure, why not? Push you through. Alright, good chase. Continue to rout. What's left back here? They do have the Protectors of Heaven back there. Okay, interesting. But I, I don't know if we'll even make it to them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Get there it is. Awesome. Oh, my God. They didn't even fight to the last man. We did suffer a lot of a lot of damage, though. A lot of damage on the cavalry. I. That's my biggest problem, as many of you have identified, is like sometimes I get too eager. Uh, patience. Those of you who are new to the channel with Three Kingdoms, patience is my biggest uh, 
issue. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm or rather I should say impatience is my biggest issue. But um, you know, we only lost 392. Emperor seat captured. If you choose to occupy this settlement, you will automatically cancel alliances with other emperors. Oh, does that include uh, what I've got going with with the Kingdom of Wei? We'll be fine. We're going to occupy this. Challenger for the throne. Kingdom of Ti. Another warlord has declared themselves emperor. Is this the will of heaven, or are they a traitorous dog to be put to the axe? Whoa. All right. Become an emperor of China. Restore order. Helps our treasury a lot. Yep, we've left the coalition. No longer emperor. The kingdom of Shuhan. This warlord has lost their imperial palace and rallies against the perception that they are no longer emperor, claiming the other claimants are imposters. Capture the seat. We have captured an emperor's seat. The taking of it is surely proof of heaven's will, and another sign that is under your reign that China will be reunited. Unite what is divided. Your mandate is righteous, but other petty warlords and kings have proclaimed themselves as false emperors in an attempt to threaten your rule. Unite what is divided and overthrow these pretenders by capturing their seats of power. You must unite China under your rule. All right. All right. Feeling pretty good about that. Wow, this city is rather weak. Rather weak. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, well, we'll convert this, make it a school, as it should be, Could even rush that, and get up to here. Wouldn't mind getting up to this uh, income bump, is what I'm, what I'm getting at. Is what I'm getting at, but for now, for now, for now, let's see, what's going on? So we're no longer friends with the Kingdom of Wei, they are in fact, hostile to us, great. So that's another war looking to break out, any, any second now. Trade suspended. How is the connection between our capitals disrupted? That's not very good. That's a decent sum of... Well, right now it isn't. It used to be, I think, a decent sum of cash. Fair enough. Uh, I wonder if... People are a bit more willing to sign peace deals now. Gungsun Zen. Can we put an end to this? Not in any reasonable way. Da Ting Hui. And we put an end to this. Not in any reasonable way. Dang Yan, I know how I intend to put an end to you. Now, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Any quick deals? Ooh, demand abdication. No one's going to say yes to that. Um, form military alliances with nobody. Vassal independence? Maybe. Maybe. You want me to give you stuff as well? No. <laughs> no. We can get a trade monopoly going with the Kingdom of Ba. No, they say. Fair enough. They're all the way down there. Long way to go to get to them. They have a lot of free room to expand then, especially if the Han Empire is as weak as it was when I was dealing with it. Fair enough. Oh, her Yi might be down for a trade agreement. Okay. You want a one-time payment of basically all my money. About 2,000 a turn. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can't make this work some other way. Surely, you want a feather fan. Surely, you want some food, perhaps. Not about to give you that much food. Make it 10. And surely, you like this little change over here. We could make a smaller payment. A smaller one-time payment of, let's say, 2,000. 2,000, I said. A little bit more than 2,000. So this will pay for itself in two turns. Which is not bad. I mean, apart from the food. It'll pay for itself in two turns. Ish. Sure. Oh, is that? Good. Working together with Hergy. Now, let's see. If the Kingdom of Wei decides to go to war with us next turn, we'll be in maybe a spot of trouble as uh, that becomes another war in this direction. Yan Shu is still with us. Is he upset at us declaring ourselves Emperor? That might be what other values consists of. This treachery. God damn it, I'm so upset at this treachery. 
a tree level. Such garbage. Okay. And I've, no one's willing to be confederated, right? Despite my supreme power. Okay, um... And we have a fair bit of money that I'm thinking we should spend where our income is. Very good now. Very good. So we can spend more money. Raise another army, perhaps. A little worried about this situation. What's your garrison here like? Tiny. Like our farmland has a better garrison than... Uh, than the actual city. It's okay, walls and stuff, though. Yanshu has a big army over here, so that's good to know and see. I wonder if we can get you to attack Thaimao, because Thaimao, I'm guessing you don't want to negotiate peace either. Never. Man. Oh, Gong Lan Shu is back to being Gong Lan Shu. They're not the kingdom of Shuhan anymore. Interesting. 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 Uh, okay, Yanshu. You were supposed to be going up there. Like that ever happened. Let's remove the target. Let's select a new target for you. Move towards. Move towards there. Hopefully he'll listen. And then down south over here. Are we really not even ended one turn? Holy crap. Was that all the same turn? I guess so. Uh, well, in that case, let's keep uh, considering our options. I, I, I guess Ma Dai could finish Da Ting Hui off. Oh, we don't have any artillery or anything, which is the bummer. Um, we could instead send this army into the large city and then towards that city. Uh, this army needs to replenish, and in fact, so does this one. We'll, we'll give them a turn at least. Uh, Zhang Jiang is going to eliminate this army. Hopefully, they'll come in and get baited by our ambush. Um, and then we can push down to Tai Yuan with her. Feeling good about that. The war on the north is very close to ending. And in fact, the war on the south as well, I think. The war on the south as well is close to ending. Wait. There is no more war in the south, really. It's more war in the... In the mid. And it might become two wars in the mid. So I'm glad I have two big armies down here. Oh god, this is kind of scary. And hold on a second. Emperor, yes. 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 You're damn right. Unlocks Palace Guard Elite Units. How many counties do we have? That's commanderies. Ow. Fine. Um. Man. Feels good. This feels good. Not our rebellion to deal with. Gonna, sorry, gonna look at some upgrade opportunities. I could get you going 100%. Income from commerce. I've been eyeing this for a while, and eventually... No, it gets big, but it doesn't give us any corruption reduction. Um, down over here... We, oh, we could rush this, actually. That might be a good use of... 3,000. We'll make it back in a turn. I want to see how the numbers change. So we are currently at 1,356. This becomes... Wow. Okay, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. And we can take it up another notch. For this. I don't mind that. Next turn, we'll have enough money. Hold on. It's still, yeah, two turns. Because I haven't I haven't gone done a turn. I'm sorry, folks. This is a lot of battles, though. So next turn, or in two turns, I'll be able to upgrade this. And in two turns, I'll be able to afford it for sure. So that's good. So we'll save up for that, maybe. Or I can make a little small expense. Um, make the number a bit more exact in two turns. I don't like that kind of exactness, though, if I'm completely honest. More income from commerce and stuff. Mm, no, that brings our wealth down too low. I think I'm happy with how it is right now. We do still have a financial or a, yeah, like a like a trade deal here with Huang Bing. But it's still a lot of money that we're making that we're just giving away. In fact, we have 2k in tribute still. Jeez. God, we're making a lot of bank. Okay. Um, feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. We uh. <laughs> I'm worried about the Kingdom of Wei. I'm worried they're going to make uh, their way down south. Or up north. What am I more worried about? I'm worried about this army, actually. That's a big one. But should they make their moves, then I can rush up with Kong Rong, who managed to become emperor at the age of 59. At the ripe young age of 59. 
Emperor or Emperorong. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. And on that terrible note, folks, we're going to call it a session, I think. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Drop a like. Drop a comment. Glory unto Kong Rong. Finally, the emperor. No longer is this just a kingdom. We are now an empire. We just have to crush all the other empires. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Till next time. Cheers.